Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Balin, and this is Animania. Animania is a wonderful farming, farm animal type mod brought to you by the likes of Purplicious Cow and Razzleberry Fox. Uh, of course, these are just vanilla horses, but uh, this mod is unfinished. Uh, those may think that it is finished. It, it is very well polished in its current state, but there is plenty more to come. But I am still going to try and uh, take you through the basics uh, of this so that you guys can uh, get an idea of how magical and fantastic this mod can be. So, to start with, we're going to go with cows. Now, there are a lot of animals in Animania. There's a lot of drops, there's a lot of uh, uh, foods, items, things like that that you can uh, work with, and it, it's actually a very strong mod, and it has a lot of config options. Don't overlook the configs. You can actually replace all vanilla, um, well, most vanilla animals with the Animania animals, and still obtain the same drops and everything if you so desire without any issue. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, I said that we were going to start with cows, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, so, as you can see here, we have five different cows. We've got the Holstein, the Friesian, the Hereford, the Longhorn, and the Angus. Now, each one you'll probably find in different biomes around the world. And uh, each one has different drops and harvest abilities. So, allow me to first grab a few of these here, so just so that you can see what they look like. I'm going to put uh, a cow over here, a Holstein cow, and a bull over here. Yes, there are sexes in uh, Animania. There are males and females, and of course there are babies, which here, I'll just plop one down so you can see. <laughs> and it, it will stick around near the, uh, the, the mother cow, or cow, Holstein cow, this is being the bull, uh, around the cow in this case. And they will actually form a family uh, over time if they decide to mate or something like that, if they're not currently in a relationship with each other and so on. Now, I just spawned them in. Easy enough, you could find them around the world. Uh, they may spawn naturally as, uh, you know, passive mobs. Uh, but without that, uh, it, you know, worrying about that, let's, let's get into how to, uh, you know, take care of these guys. Now, the, you can obtain these by, you know, using a lead. And if you look up the uh, recipe for a lead, uh, you'll see here that there is actually uh, another recipe here, two leather and two string. There is a default Animania lead recipe that changes the vanilla mechanic so that you can obtain bulls and cows and other, uh, you know, draggable animals, draggable, <laughs> leadable animals uh, as you like. And you can see here these two are currently eating some grass off the ground, and they've got different requirements to keep them happy. Uh, otherwise, they'll become unhappy, and it's not like they're going to attack you or something, but uh, it, it is an entire possibility. Uh, for instance, if I change my game mode to zero here, and I jump in here and give this bull a poke, he is going to try and, and attack me. Now, I, I, of course, moved outside of there before he could really do too much. I'm, I'm currently being hit, uh, you know, he tried charging me and so on, uh, but uh, I, I backed out. So I'm, I'm going to change my game mode back so that he becomes friendly again. There we go. I, I could always, you know, feed these guys and so on, but let's get into what they do and don't like. Of course, uh, you are only seeing one of the five different types. Each one behaves in a similar manner, and that's why I'm going to kind of cover cows as a whole, and then I'll show you what each of them looks like. Now, the Holsteins and the Friesians are, are both, well, I guess these ones are kind of a bluish, and these ones are kind of a dark brown. I mean, you can, you can see the, the spots on there. Think of the dark brown ones as like your vanilla. It's the easiest way to think of it. But each one is going to have different benefits. So a, 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 to give an example, these two here at the top, the Friesians and the Holsteins, Oh, you don't say. Uh, they, they are, you're able to get buckets of milk that are specific to those cows, which you can then use to make cheese. For instance, let me grab a cheese mold and a bucket of Holstein milk, uh, and I can actually access this crafting table, put the bucket here, and you can turn it into, uh, you know, I've, I've got this set up right now so that I can turn it into regular Minecraft uh, milk, but otherwise you can actually create a cheese wheel, Holstein cheese wheel, therefore getting food from it. Look at that saturation and the amount of food you get from that. It's really good. So I can take that out, use up a little bit of durability of the cheese mold, and you can actually uh, use this in combination with, allow me to grab this, a carving knife. Now, of course, the recipe for the cheese mold is... is you know, just very simple, just some wood and a, an iron ingot. And the carving knife is going to just be a couple iron ingots and a stick. It, it's nothing fantastical there. So, but if I take this cheese wheel and a bit of, co of a carving knife, you can actually turn it into four cheese wedges. Now, you might think, well, <laughs> that barely fills any food. It does give a, a good amount of saturation in comparison, uh, and therefore better overall if I were to eat these individually. But 
you can use these in other ways. Uh, so for instance, there I took and I now have four cheese wedges with that, which I can use in other recipes later on. Uh, but uh, before I get into other recipes, I was just showing you some of the advantages that you can get from that. Now, if you decide to harvest these guys, yes, I, I do have a sword. I am going to kill the animals, but it's just so that you can see that uh, you can actually obtain special drops from them. Now, a Holstein bull. If I hit him, you can see he drops leather as is normal. But you'll also notice that he dropped regular raw beef. And in here, you'll see that each one, uh, the Holsteins and the Frisians, both drop regular raw beef. And of course, leather. As you saw there, I dropped a bunch of leather. Uh, now, the happier they are, the, the better the drops they're going to be get, uh, dropping. In this case, they're fairly happy. There you go. I actually had uh, two other steaks in there. So you're not having to kill like an entire herd of cows to get the raw beef that you would from, uh, you know, one in this case. But uh, there's also other benefits. Now, in the, the case of Herefords, Longhorns, and Angus, uh, you only get regular Minecraft milk from them. Uh, and of course, in order to get uh, the milk from them, uh, let me grab a bucket here just so that I can show you. It's just a matter of walking up to it, right-clicking, and so you, you can see here I have a bucket of Holstein milk in this case, uh, which is just good <laughs> by itself. You can always drink that. Uh, now, the advantage of the other ones here is that they're more for the uh, the drops of the beef, uh, which you can then also use in a specific way with the carving knife. So allow me to actually get some uh, Herefords in here. Uh, I'm actually just going to take a Hereford cow uh, so that I'm not like overpopulating. Yeah, actually, let me get a bull uh, because I'm going to want that for specific reasons. You can see here he's a much bigger red bull actually he's probably about the same size but he he's a red bull and as the calf if you notice here the calf is actually bigger they will actually over time slowly grow until they are mature which takes about an average of one minecraft day now with that in mind uh we are going to move on to the hereford bowl like i was saying here uh, and you can see here the hereford drops a specific type of meat sorry buddy but i need you for a demonstration so you have to hit him a couple times there with my super powerful sword that I have from another mod. But uh, you get raw beef from him and, uh, of course, leather. Uh, he, there was nothing really spectacular about that one. But if I take this raw beef from the Hereford, plus that carving knife that I was using with the cheese, you can then get four Hereford raw steaks. And, of course, with that, you can then cook those up. Let's see if I can actually aim here, put those in there, and you'll get special steaks uh, from the Hereford. Uh, or, you know, there's Longhorns as well as Angus. Each one is going to give you different benefits. Uh, so <laughs> you, get, you see here I'm getting some pretty good stuff, and I can actually eat that uh, if I am hungry. Uh, let's see if I can change my mode back. There we go. Got some really good stuff there. Nothing really fantastic. I mean, I didn't get any like special buffs or anything, but it's just really good meat. And I got four of them from slaughtering the one cow. Uh, as you can see, let's see if I can line up that. There we go. And you can see the, the rest of them are just cooking in here. Each one has a different benefit. Uh, so let me grab the longhorn. Let me grab the Angus. And I can actually chop these up as well. So you've really got an immersive way of dealing with the uh, farm animals that you have uh, in this mod. Now, get out of here, you. Let's put the Angus in here. We'll cook up some of those, and we'll get some of the Angus steaks as well. Uh, and you, you saw that I actually got five, if you look in here, of the Angus steaks instead of the uh, Longhorn. So the Angus are obviously going to be the ones that you really want for the best uh, food here. And you get five uh, meat pops out of that one in, or hunger refill bars instead of the three that I got from the the, uh, the Hereford. Now the Longhorn of course, let's take that out, put that in there we'll cook up some Longhorn as well and you can see those too. And in the meantime I can actually show you some of the other cows we've got the Longhorn Bull which is, you know, pretty cool looking as it is. And if you have uh, some happy, happy cows then they may actually get together In this case, uh, I'll just remove that Hey, get back, get back in there I, I, that's something you'll have to watch out for is that they, they can walk up and over things very easily. Get, get back in there. Get back in there. Okay, so I have them currently separated, but as long as uh, you have these guys together, if they, uh, you know, make all the hearts that you saw earlier when I introduced them to each other and they're happy, then you should actually be able to reproduce little baby cows. Now, while I was uh, waiting on this one, you can see here, the Longhorn gets you like two and a half. So each one is going to have its own different benefits. Some are better than others, bigger saturation, more, f uh, more hunger refilled, and so on. You'll find them in different biomes, as I said before. But 
Anyway, uh, continuing on, we've got cow, we've got bull, and we need to make baby, right? Well, if you've got, let's say in this case, a longhorn bull and a Holstein cow, you've got a percentage chance of getting one of the two as a result. Now, it's just kind of a, a percentage there, like uh, 20, 50, something like that percent chance of one or the other. Uh, but they do need to remain within about 20 blocks of each other for it to actually take effect and a baby to happen. And it does take about one Minecraft day. Uh, of course, you want to keep them happy. Well, how can you keep them happy? That is what troughs are uh, in here for. Now, let me grab some of this stuff here. Okay, so you can see I have wheat, I've got poppies, I've got dandelions, I've got water buckets. So with the water bucket, actually, let me grab a few more of these because it, it, they, they, uh, you can actually hand feed a bull or cow or whatever water, and it will eat, drink the entire thing. You can also you know, you just use it right here in the trough, uh, as you see. It's not a big problem at all. And you just fill it down really good, or you can bucket it back up. Now... Of course, they also will eat poppies. You can hand feed them poppies or dandelions. It will make them very happy. If you have befriended uh, animals uh, with, you know, like hearts are appearing above them, then they should not despawn. If you have not touched the animal whatsoever, you know, you, you just lead it to a place or something, it might despawn. So you're going to want to at least feed it. And I do recommend that you probably give them a name just because then you'll become a little bit more attached to your little, your little buddies there. But it, it doesn't mean <laughs> that they are going to necessarily do everything that you want. Now, uh, the cows will also drink all of a water block. So if you have a, a, a water block just down in the ground, you can have it in a trough. You don't have to have it in a trough. You can have it, uh, as I've got over here, you've got like a little pool or something. You can have it just right there. They will drink it. It will automatically refill in most cases if there's other water blocks nearby. In this case, you can put it in a trough and they'll drink it. You can also uh, bucket it back out. And, excuse me, Miss Miss Cow, you're, you're kind of in the way there. Sorry, sorry. Oh, she's drank some of it already, so I can't bucket it back out because it's not a full, buck, uh, full bucket anymore. But that's all right. I'm just going to make a new one. And, excuse me, uh, we're going to put some wheat down in here. Now, I can fill these troughs with wheat, up to three pieces, and it'll last you quite a long time way. You, you're very cute, but you're, I, I guess that is kind of a small pen for you. I'm sorry. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> and that will make them pretty darn happy uh, about being fed. Let's see if I can actually get her to move a little bit more. If I can place down another trough. There we go. And then I can put some wheat down in here. And she has access to water and wheat now. Now, you're going to want to be careful. As you saw before, I, I currently had these things not really thought through. Uh, she was able to jump out of the pen. But if you have these up against a fence or something like that, remember these are one block things, and if you have a fence over here, they'll be able to just hop up and over. So you're going to want to put those kind of in the middle of a uh, an area that you're keeping your farm animals, or cover it so that they can't just hop on and out of your area. Uh, they might stick around, but you never know, they might also wander right away. Now, of course, as I see here, uh, as I show here, cows will eat wheat, red or yellow flowers, and some vegetables. So you're going to want to watch your crops. Uh, in this case, they may come and steal some of your crop food. So don't put the cows in the corn. You know, it, it's a bad idea. Um, of course, they will drink from uh, just regular water sources, uh, a trough water, a river or a lake nearby. Or, as I showed you before, you can actually take a bucket and hand feed it to them, which, of course, will help them out and make them feel pretty happy. You just give them a bunch of poppies, a bunch of dandelions, get lots of hearts and love, lots of wheat. They, they get really happy. Uh, same with this with the longhorn bull here. I'll, I'll just give them all sorts of, of loving. Now, as I was saying before, in order to make more babies, uh, like this little guy here who's actually getting more to be an adolescent at this point, he, he's getting pretty big, uh, you're going to want to ensure that they are within 20 blocks of each other and that they're happy. So you, you just need to make sure that their health is full. If you start seeing little smoke particles above your uh, cow's heads, uh, then you're going to want to be sure to get them some food, water, you know, whatever else they may want at that time. Usually some grass nearby or, you know, you could even plant some flowers. That they'll eventually eat the flowers over time as well. Uh, so having beehives nearby from other mods might also benefit your cows uh, if it's automatically feeding them. That would be nice. So keep that in mind when you're trying to breed them, that you just need to keep them happy. All right, so now that I have a whole bunch of spawn eggs, I can actually spawn into the world so you can see the different types of uh, cows that you may come across. Now, the male and female of the longhorns are rather difficult to see, but it's the, the shape of the body. This one's a bit more barrel-chested. Oh, and look, they're very happy. 
uh, which each one is probably going to do. We've got the Friesians, of course, which are more your vanilla style, uh, which but you can also get the better milk from. They're your typical milking cow. Then you've got your Holsteins, which kind of have like a bluish texture to them. Probably my favorite texture, actually. I, I really like the bluish look to them. They're, they're pretty happy looking. Uh, now let me get some of these other ones here. Right, everybody's just getting some loving today. Now we've got the baby Angus, the, the mother Angus, uh, the cow Angus, and of course the bull, which there you go. You've got your, your primary steak loving ones. And they will actually form little little like cow communities. So if you see them in the wild, you'll probably come across like two and a baby uh, quite often. That's usually the case. Uh, they won't uh, usually be like the vanilla cows where you'll just run across a giant herd of them. Uh, that are all looking identical. And of course, you've got your Herefords here, which are the, the reddish style, really cool. And that's about it for the cows. Now, of course, there are plenty more to cover. Uh, I'm going to be doing bit by bits on this and the different benefits of each one. Now, of course, the cheese wedge I covered before and the, the cheese is going to be covered probably uh, a bit further on. But you can, I will say right now, you can use these to make omelets with eggs for chickens and so on, uh, as well as other things. And uh, I, I do recommend that you give this mod a check out. I will be covering this with more animals, namely uh, there's pigs, there's chickens, there's hamsters, ferrets, peacocks, all sorts of uh, things uh, up and coming. And I will give you uh, a bit by bit on this mod as I progress through. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, spread the mischief to others if you think they'll enjoy this mischief too. <laughs> and until next time, folks, I'll see ya.